Hey guys, it's me again, um, and I happen to click on, or got, I get the emails every day from Peachy Cheap, and I um, saw the email for their grab bag. So let me just cover up my address here. This did take a full week to arrive. They shipped it on March 2nd, and it didn't get to me until the 7th, and that was priority mail, so I'm not really sure what the deal was with the Postal Service. But So here is my uh, Peachy Cheap grab bag haul. I got the Seven Gypsies album, and... Oh man, I didn't bring any scissors. Hang on, let me go to the kitchen and grab some so I want to open it up. All right. So, thanks for waiting. And I'm just going to slide this off. Or maybe I'm not. Hmm. I'm just going to cut it, I guess. It's just twine, right? Seven Gypsies album. And here are the pages. And they're really nice, thick, cream colored cardstock. So. Really nice. This would make a cute mini album, make a really cute journal or smash book if you're into doing that. So I got that. And then I got the basic gray ribbon doilies. And they're made out of paper. And they are gorgeous. Somebody else got one too and I was watching her video and we got a lot of the same things but um, we did get something separately. The Seven Gypsies and this we both got in our grab bags. I got this flare and that's from American Crafts. It's called Nighty Night. And these are all baby related. But of course, oh, this is Rockabye, Nighty Night, and Baby, brand new. But this and this and this and this, you know, you could use for anything, but really pretty pastel colors. And I think that those are on dimensionals. Yeah, those are on dimensional um, adhesives. Got some of these felties. I even, I bought some of these off of all that, all that scraps. I don't remember. But I had bought some of these, oh gosh, last summer I think and uh, really really like these so these are from Sassafras and they are called Fruity Family and I got two of these these are Petaloo and they're uh, stitched felt collection and they are uh, some alphabet they aren't all of the alphabet but um, it is it looks like it is the consonants. I don't see any vowels in here. So some of the consonants. Those are cute. Seven Gypsies rub-ons. Hudson Valley letters. They call them rubbings. I love this stamp collection. Uh, American Crafts. 23 clear stamps. Rascal. And it's all boy related. So really, really cute. I don't have too much in the way of boy stuff. Maybe I'll have a grandson someday, but it's nice to have these on hand if you have um, nephews or friends who have boys and you want to make a birthday card for them. So I'm going to hang on to that instead of giving that away. Um, I got a Making Memories clear stamp set. It is called Flutter and it has 10 stamps and perfect timing. I love the ladybug. Here's some more um, rubbings from Seven Gypsies. This is Hudson Valley Journal. 
I don't know if those are, wow. Those would be, they're so tiny. You'd have to cut them apart. Happy. I don't usually use rubbings, so, or rub-ons. I suppose I should try. This one is Fortune's Gypsy. A lot of different sentiments. <laughs> Children come with both a curse and a blessing, but they seldom discover these by themselves. Hilarious. I don't know, I might put those in a giveaway. Um, painted Brad's, basic gray. Again, the colors are awesome for this time of year. I'll probably take those to my workshop, even though they aren't stamping up. Um, nice, love those Brad's. Uh, here are um, green at heart, basic gray, micro mono stickers. And they are a dark purpley color. And I'm trying to tell what the, I don't know what that is supposed to be, just a variation, just dark color going through. I don't know if it's supposed to be wood grain. But, uh, Seven Gypsies quotes and citations. These are nice stickers. Sweet. Um, Ready, Set, Chip. Pink Oak by Cosmo Cricut. I love these. I love, 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 love these. They're such a pretty pink. And then they have a, <coughs> a darker pink wood grain going through them and I don't know how many are in there I got a uh, Seven Gypsies book belt in small and it's black this is my one of my favorite ribbons that I have black with the white top stitching Haunted House Vinyl Halloween. So these are American Crafts. And I assume that they are stickers. Over 20 vinyl pieces. These are really cute. Um, four distinct shapes and three sizes and six colors. So those will be fun for Halloween next year. I got a 6x6 six six Glitz pack from Afternoon, or by Afternoon Muse by Glitz. What the heck am I trying to say? Glitz. And this is 2011, normally $9.99. These are one-sided. I love this one. Pretty. Oh, so there's three of each. I did know that when I looked at it originally. Beautiful colors. really pretty bright sunny yellow and then there's a like an aqua distress mark there and they are distressed on the edges I love these papers I love this one the beautiful pastel stripes a little distressing at the bottom by the crystal sea so sheet music and uh, looks like article newspaper articles Oh, this one is so pretty, too. I just love all of these colors. And this has a little pink here. The polka dots are more pink. White and pink again. And the paper is a good quality or decent quality. It isn't super thick, but it's really nice. Oh, I love this. With the, uh, I just love these colors. I like this ombre effect. Oh, look at that. The green stripe distressing on the edges. And then there's some pink, almost looks like, you know, pink watercolor. Very faint. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, I am. Started from the back. I read magazines that way, too. Do you guys read magazines from the back? Which is really stupid. Um, and this is a very subtle damask 
that is very pretty with some writing up here look at this one. Oh my gosh I just love the variation in the paper I mean in the colors of the polka dots and the distressing and how pretty is this one it's just so bright and saturated this is kind of how I paint in watercolors a long time ago I did a video of some of my artwork and my um, watercolor paintings are quite saturated they are not pastel and this is like a globe and then there's the banners up here banner flags really cool oh beautiful I am just so happy I've never had glitz paper before and I am just so happy that I got this I love every single paper in this pack so and then I got some individual papers I think these are seven gypsies if memory serves me correctly yes seven gypsies and these are one-sided Umbria is the name of that beautiful colors now I have to get my butt crafting I've just been busy working and it's just been crazy I just haven't had time but this week I'm off. It's spring break here and it was just coincidental. This is again Seven Gypsy. Sorry I'm getting off track. Veneto. Um, same, uh, well this part is the same. This again, I love this. I love the bird, the crane. Campania, Campania, and so anyway, I am off this week. I don't have any clients until Saturday, so I'm going to spend the time when I'm not out running errands. I have to get ready for my workshop. I had to move it to the 25th. This is Alpha, beautiful. These papers remind me of the Venetian casino in Las Vegas. I don't know why. I guess the colors. But again, just beautiful. Roma. Oh, that's probably why. They're Italian inspired. And this one. This is called Ladium. So I got those papers. I'm not sure how many, one, two, three, four, five, six individual papers from Seven Gypsies. And I got two kits. This is Be Loved by My Mind's Eye. Nine sheets, um, double sided cardstock pack, and one coordinate, coordinating accessory kit. So, yeah, it just so happened. I, you know what? I'm not going to open this because it's sealed. Um, but these are, I think they're stickers, although it's really hard to tell through the plastic. But it's sealed. I don't want to open it up. Um, but look at the papers. Really, really pretty. And again, you don't have to use these for Valentine's Day. It just says be loved. So you can use this for any occasion. Um, I was going to do my workshop on Sunday the 18th and then my husband um, asked me, he said, um, can you move it to the next week because they're doing their annual conversion. So I have to move it to the 25th, but that's still two weeks before um, Easter, so I'm okay with that. Then I got this green, the lush in the green, the, whose video was I watching? My God, she got it in the blue. Um, 425 piece kit and let's look at this I really like my mind's eye stuff you know what there aren't too many uh, companies whose products I don't like I just love crafting stuff so um, this is hip and luxurious flocked chipboard oh man 
sorry you guys, flocked chipboard and I don't know if you can see that but indeed it's flocked. There are two sheets in there, 2010, hip and luxurious, very nice thicker type things. Are they thickers? It doesn't say. Um, these are chipboard alphabet stickers in green. Again, the Hip and Luxurious Basics by My Mind's Eye. And there's the numerals and the um, punctuation marks. So I guess I got two of these, which is nice. Um, and then these are rhinestone brads in the green, and <laughs> it seems like they're all turned away. But hopefully you can see they're um, just a really pretty pale green. Oh, there's some clear ones in there too. There's a square one, a round one. So there are 24 of those. And the coordinating ribbon, and there's it says three 36 inch lengths, so three yards of each. Nice, and you know I love that top stitch stuff, and this is beautiful. And I bet you some of the um, velvet ribbon that I got in my grab bag will coordinate with this too. So let's see what the papers are like. I'll take this one out because it's in the the um, this. Ziploc top, top, you know what I mean. Hip and Luxurious Basics by My Mind's Eye. And there goes the dryer. And these are polka dots which create a white star effect in the center. So my eye first sees the star and then sees the polka dots. So there are two of those. The grab bag was, I believe, $29.99 and then $6.99 for shipping. This is flocked, this beautiful cream color paper with the green flocking. It's called Green Finch. This is beautiful. Two of those. Here's a damask. And I did look it up. It's not pronounced da damask. It's pronounced damask. If you go to dictionary.com, if you're ever curious about how something is supposed to be pronounced, they'll have it there. And um, they even have a little, it, it's like a, it, it indicates that there's a, a speaker, a little speaker icon. You can click on that and it will pronounce it for you. Um, and then this is kind of the opposite. It's a circle with the kind of triangle star in the center. Again on the cream, green damask paper. And another FYI, uh, people call it color bock, but again it's pronounced color book because the accent over the O makes it pronounced like book. So that's pronounced color book. I am just a stickler for pronunciation and grammar and not that I'm 100% right, but my mom instilled that in me. So um, this is flocked also, these beautiful green dots. The black, the, the black is back. The back is blank. Got two of those. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This houndstooth in a lime green. This is called Green Houndstooth. And then the back are these little polka dots. So the cream color and the lime green and two of those. So that is what I got in my um, Peachy Cheap grab bag. So I, don't, I have no idea. Oh, wait, I missed one thing. I have no idea how often they do them. Um, I also got this Bling It On. It is... Ribbon, ru ribbons, rub-ons and rhinestones. So apparently that design is a rub-on. And then you have the uh, rhinestones to accent if you want to. And that is basic gray. 
So I have no idea how often they have these, um, if they're always in February. Um, but I guess if you're interested, probably the best thing to do is just sign up for their daily emails. Uh, they'll send you an email at night and let you know what the daily special is. And um, I've gotten a couple of things from them. Most of the time I pass because I've just got so much. But this I was really curious to see what it was all about. So um, if you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. I don't mean to sound like a snob about grammar, but it's just one of those things that I was always good at. I was good at spelling. I was good at grammar, especially with my mom hounding me. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, <coughs> excuse me, my little grab bag. And I'm going to be on to the next video, which is going to be either makeup or from Sam's Club. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.